Hanyai, Thailand, a city interwoven by tapestry of culture, fates, and wonders for any wanderers to come. Anyone who leaves will have a living memorial image of the vivid colors of Hanyai. Entering into this lively city, you will surely water your mouth by the array of delectable food that it has to offer. The nightly hours of Hat Yai is restless. Hop on a tuk-tuk and meander the slender streets to find souvenirs, clothes, or just to enjoy exploring the bustling markets and shops. Welcome to Hat Yai, Thailand. So for the first day, me and my father took a bus with Gunung Hub as our tour guide agency. We bought chocolates and drinks as we won't be stopping by a R and R. For your information, Hat Yai is located in the southern region of Thailand, right at Malaysia's borders. We'd be sleeping the entire journey. We slept in the bus for nine hours, and then that morning, we reached the border in the nick of time. Finally in Thailand, everybody. We stopped by Thailand's local 7-Eleven. It's entirely different than the one that you could find in Malaysia. They have a variety of frozen food that you can buy and heat instantaneously, which comes at a cheap price. Thank goodness, after a rigorous 9 hours inside a bus with no proper meal, we got breakfast by a small restaurant across the street. I had pad thai with a special warm broth to soothe my throat. Next stop, Samilla Beach. This destination is a must. As you get to feel the wafting air brushing through the hair on your skin, the hot sizzling heat blazing against your skin, and generally the relaxing atmosphere as you appreciate the calmness of the ocean. There is a mermaid statue located here, and the story goes a local fisherman somehow drowned and the mermaid found him and they fell in love. Then the father of the mermaid put a curse on her. Basically, from my understanding, that's how the statue got there. Oh, and don't forget to visit Kaysorn. Here, you'll find everything that you want to bring back home to your loved ones. From crackers, snacks, clothes, bags, souvenirs, or other merchandise. For the next four days, we stayed at Hat Yai Holiday. It's a two or three star hotel and it's already enough for me because of its comfort and convenient location near famous hotspots. So we don't have to worry about the distance. Chowder time. Come over to this restaurant and get the meat grilled on a skewer. There are more fun and games when you come to Lee Garden. You can get the chance to pick and choose from a different selection of food to saturate your palate. It's absolutely tantalizing. Wait until you smell the scent of a mixture of spices and smoked meat falling up your nostrils. The next day. What a great way to start a day by having a unique breakfast, dim sum. For me, I had roti cheese and a 7-Eleven burger. If you're an animal lover, you can visit the Chang Pua camp and feed the elephants with bananas. If you're a sharpshooter, why not hit some targets and show off your mad skills? <laughs> if you noticed so far, Hanyang is popular for its retail industry. For Nora Plaza, what's unique is that they sell products made out of crocodile skin. I 
ice cream, and more snacks incoming. But be sure to check your wallet if you still have money left. While scavenging hot yai for food, I want to take a taste of its honey. There's a bee farm here with so many honey products displayed, and there's even a mini garden at the back, which you can explore and simply walk around. I kid you not, going around places, you will stumble upon more and more treasure troves of food. If I were to describe Hot Yai, it is a haven for anyone to indulge food with its piquant flavors. Feeling not satisfied with your previous purchase? Head down to Asian Night Bazaar as now, you can bargain more and have more choices of clothes, bags, and souvenirs. Upstairs, grab your dinner or supper while you listen to the sound of crisps, roasting, flames, and pops of oil cooking. So yeah, the next morning. Being adventurous means to go over our limits and challenge ourselves to try new things that we have never done before in our lives. I'm about to do that. As we took the tuk-tuk to our next stop, I was very excited to see the world from another lens. What I was about to see was completely amazing. In my last day in Hat Yai, I was taken away by Thai architecture. This is only the tip of the iceberg, as I know there are more grandiose architecture in Thailand. But a small what such as this has already made me impressed. For the last day, it was time to move on and ride a train to Bangkok. Every meeting always have a goodbye. For me, I prefer to say, see you again Hat Yai. Bangkok, here I come.